Rhythm change, how to expand the chord scheme, add the sixth dominant chord to a simple rhythm change scheme. Rhythm change is a great chord scheme to play. All players in jazz have one or more examples of playing this. There are literally tons of ways to get around in a rhythm change scheme. In this video, I go around how to play over the most simple form of the rhythm change, specifically playing the sixth degree dominant chord. <laughs> In this tutorial, the rhythm change chord scheme, the 6th degree dominant, leading tones to D minor 7, the turnaround and chord note solos, the rhythm change solo manual, the scale of the rhythm change, turnaround solo example lines with the scales. Hi, I'm Sam Balagor and welcome to Sam Balagor's saxophone lessons. It is super great that you are checking out rhythm change. You are welcome to give me a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to support me and the music. Let's play rhythm change. The rhythm change chord scheme. I'm working from a basic rhythm scheme. Here you see the full scheme of the rhythm change. I want to concentrate on the bars where we find the C major to the G7 chord, so the first four bars. The simplest form of the rhythm change chord scheme is this. You can easily get away by filling the first four bars of the A parts of the rhythm change in with only C major and G7 chords. Remember to check the link in the description of how to easily play the rhythm change like this. But we want more. We first add the second degree minor in front of that G7 chord, getting the C major, D minor, G7 chord. The one, two, five to the one. We just love the 2-5-1 progression because we're used to playing this, further we get more fitting material to play on the dominant chord. If you want more info on how to add the second degree minor chord to the dominant, you're welcome to check out the videos on this in the description. Where we want to end up with this is adding the sixth degree dominant chord, in this case in C major, the A7 flat 9, the sixth degree dominant. The 6th degree dominant, the A7 flat 9, is added to get a dominant function towards the D minor 7. When you add this function, you get a more forward moving progression because of the push of the dominant on the second half of the first bar. The dominant has a clear leading function towards the D minor 7 chord, which makes the progression very active. Looking at the two bars, you have a lot of activity on the second half of both bars. On the A7 flat 9 leading to the D minor and the G7 leading to the C major in the next bar. Leading tones to the D minor. The A7 flat 9 is the dominant to the D minor 7 chord. The A7 chord is not a natural chord in the D minor vocabulary because the D minor is coming from C major which has no sharps and no flats. The A7 is coming from D major, where we see we get the C sharp, the leading tone towards the D. We want this in our dominant chord, the leading tone towards the root. Since we're going to D minor, the second leading tone of the A7, the G, is going towards the third of the chord. You see it here, the G to the F, but this has not the leading effect we're lo looking for. We want a half step there. This is a whole step. The leading tone would normally lead a half step down like this towards the F sharp. We still want two leading tones in our dominant chord. So we borrow the B flat from the F major scale. It's getting complicated now, but we borrow the B flat on the A7 flat 9, the B flat from the F major scale, where the D minor chord is also present. The B flat leads towards the A on the D minor chord. So it's looking like this, the A7 flat 9 to D minor. In this way, we get the two leading tones we like in our dominant, the C sharp going to the D and the B flat going to the A. The turnaround and the chord note solos. Looking at our chord progression now, 
we get the common turnaround as we know it. C major, A7 flat 9, D minor 7, G7. First thing to get started on is playing simple chord note solos on this. Use your normal practice routine to get to know the chords. Play up and down the arpeggios, play small patterns in the chords. Of course, you're welcome to check out my videos on the patterns you can use to get these chord notes into your system. Check the description below. When you're up to speed with the chord notes, start playing simple solos using only chord notes. Start really slow to get full control. Here are some examples on chord note solos over this beautiful progression. C major 7, A7 flat 9, D minor G7. <laughs> The specifics are pretty clear, I think, to all. Though I use the nines of the chords as an extension to the chord, but also as a second note in the scale. What I get using the ninth as a two, you can see in the first bar of the first phrase. I get a small part of the scale when I'm using the two. On the A7 flat nine, I use the ninth as the flat nine, but also as a part of the scale. You see all the places where I use this principle, a very strong note to add the ninth. Further, the solo consists of only chord notes, either the arpeggios up or down or in an octave displacement line. In the next line, I'm mostly using the full arpeggios either up or down. <laughs> on the A7 flat 9. On the A7 flat 9 I'm playing this chord as a C sharp diminished chord, leaving out the A. This gives another sound to use on the A7 flat 9 chord. What you also see that you can use is the chord's upper structure, the 7th chord as an arpeggio. On the C major you get an E minor chord. On the G7 you get a B7 half diminished chord. And what I talked about just before, the A7 gets you the C sharp diminished chord. All arpeggios played from the third of the chord. More chord and scales on a rhythm change. If you want to dig into more patterns, scales, chords and etudes on the rhythm change, you should check out the rhythm change full solo manual. Play through the exercises and etudes in 100 plus pages manual and get a flying start on how to play a solo on a rhythm chain scheme. The manual is made for both tenor and alto saxophone. Check the links in the description. The scales of rhythm chains. Looking at the scales of the turnaround. <laughs> There's only one exception, that's the A7 flat 9. The rest is just C major scales, no sharps, no flats. On the A7 flat 9, two notes change, the B flat and the C sharp. The C becomes a C sharp and the B becomes the B flat. The scale is D harmonic minor played from the fifth degree. <laughs> When making lines in this scale, same rules apply as for the chord notes. Make sure you outline the function of the chord and hit the important target notes so they give you the direction needed in the turnaround. Turnaround example lines with scales. <laughs> scale the fifth to the root, the G to the C. Down the A7 flat 9 scale from the third to the seventh. Up the D minor 7 scale from the third with the 1, 2, 3, 5 pattern, the F, G, A, C. On the G7 the movement continues B to E, leading towards the 
and encircling the E in bar 3. On the C major chord, F and G is leading towards the E, the E and the D is going towards the C sharp. The C sharp and the A is an octave displacement of the chord. The G and the E is encircling the F. And in the last bar on the D minor 7 and the G7 chord, I just go down the scale. Start by playing the scale up from the 3rd, the E, to the flat 9 of the A7 flat 9, the B flat. Down the A7 flat 9 from the B flat to the G. Encircling the F with the G and the E. A 1, 2, 3, 1 pattern from the 3rd of the D minor. The F. Down the scale of the G7, D to A leading to the G on the C major chord. In bar 3. Playing the upper structure pattern G, A, B, D of the C major chord, getting a C major 9 chord sound with that D on the top. Repeating the 1, 2, 3, 1 pattern from the 3rd of the A7 flat 9, C sharp, D, E, C sharp, encircling the D on the D minor 7 chord with the E and the C sharp. Playing a typical 1 bar 2 5 line on the D minor G7 chord, up the D minor scale and a bit down. If this tutorial raises any questions about the music, the theory or other things mentioned, the rhythm change, all those stuff, do not hesitate to ask questions. It's always great to hear from you all. Like, subscribe, shares are of course always welcome. Thank you very much for that. All links mentioned in the video are available below in the description. Play music, have fun.